Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Tekkit Classic and today we are going to have a shorter episode than normal as I have explained in the previous couple of days um, you should know the reasons why however we are still going to be actually getting somewhere with something now last episode I said we were going to be making the high voltage solar array uh, factory However, that is obviously quite a big project to actually undertake, so um, having less time per video and needing to get everything sorted out, we are going to actually make something else, which is useful, but uh, it will not take as much time, and that useful thing is called the Mass Fabricator. The Mass Fabricator basically using power to make UU matter, which can, out of power, out of our solar power right here, and uh, proceeding to make UU matter out of this, this electricity, and then being able to make pretty much anything from that. So what we're going to need, I have on the screen, we're going to need 8 glowstone, 24 redstone, 10 lapis, 24 uh, rubber, 12 copper, um, 26 refined iron, 1 diamond, 6 bronze, 6 tin, and 32 coal. So we're going to go and get some of this hopefully. Uh, need eight of this, seven, eight, twenty-four redstone, which we are again running out of, obviously due to the fact of making the high voltage solar array last episode, uh, twenty-four of that, so three, six, nine, twelve, so we need eight of that and drop it into uh, our extractor here, as well as getting our overclockers from over here into here to do that, uh, twelve copper, 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 twelve copper, uh, twenty-six, I have twenty-five right here, twenty-six refined iron, I think it's refined iron, yep, uh, one diamond, one diamond, uh, I'm actually not running out that much, uh, six bronze, I know we have bronze dust somewhere, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. And thirty-two coal. So we need half a stack of coal. There we go. Okie dokie. So we've got all that. And we're going to throw this into the wonderful thing here. And we are eventually going to get uh, eight overclockers for each of these so they can do their highest performance. Uh, we could put more in, however, generally more than eight is a bit iffy with power um, unless it is like hooked directly up to a high voltage solar array and even then I think it is a bit of a hassle to work with anyway but um, yeah right we need to go over to our project table we are going to have four of those in there and what I think we need to do is uh, I'm not gonna do that yet Basically, four is going to go one there, one there, one there, one there. We need to make first, we have three types of thing we need to make. We need to make two advanced circuits, two advanced machine blocks, and a Laptron crystal. So first we're going to make a Laptron crystal, uh, for which we need a energy crystal, or whatever it's called. I cannot remember uh, exactly what it's called. Energy crystal, right there. Okay, so an energy crystal, that's going to go in the center with six of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, let's pull those out for now because we don't need them. Now what we're going to need is uh, 12, so 1, 2, 3, 12 cables, 1, 2, 2 each here, to make um, 2 electronic circuits going here, and Lapton Crystal. There we go, that is done. Now we need to make 2 advanced machine blocks. Um, actually, we're going to go with advanced circuits because it's easier in the long run. So again, we need to make three of these go in with that. Then we're going to go put them there, putting our refined iron in. And there we got that. Next, we need four of these. Uh, put it in the correct place would be quite useful. Uh, two of these again. Oh, we need to do two of these each, don't we? Yeah, I remembered. So that's one advanced thing. Then we need... Oh, I need to do that. Copper cable. 
and that's all our copper cables gone all being used now one there one there and put that there electronic thing with that and there we go there's uh, two of those ready and done now we're gonna think how this is done I think it's done this way or all, all the other okay one two three. yeah so we need two of those we actually need four of those I realize which is why we have that much there and we need to put those into our compressor downstairs here so we need to get these uh, overclockers from this electric furnace put this in there so get those compressing and then they're perfectly fine next we need to make uh, oh yeah we need macerator so let's wait for these to go because then we can get the overclockers from there nope also when you get a recycler make sure you don't shift click those in because they will go in the recycler and when you've got high powered recycler that is not a fun thing to have happen to your overclockers um, when it just instantly recycles your overclockers and that is quite an annoying thing so yeah so yeah we just need to get those, we need to get two of them and then uh, need to make um, these two machine blocks ready for those to go in actually we can set them up within the project table already um, put those there and then we just need to craft all these together once they are done um, again we'll be making four in total of these um, carbon plates so we just need to wait for those to go through so I'm gonna let for these guys go through and actually um, be macerated and I'll see you once that's done okay so we've got all 32 done now so I'm pretty sure um, we just need to put eight in there there we go and put these along with our overclockers into the compressor that we have over here as you can see also I have a lever now uh, so that I can switch this thing off because we are going to directly put this into our MFSU because it is one of the uh, I think four machines that can actually take direct power from an, uh, a high voltage solar array or an MFSU uh, I'm not sure whether we will put it into here or I think it's worth putting it in more into here it takes um, one I think it takes a f either a full one of those or just one of those. I uh, will check um, six zeros. So one. yeah, so from this without anything being added, we can make ten UU matter. So you know, eventually we are going to set it up directly to a um, high voltage solar array of its own, uh, which I have spoken about before. Um, oh wait, that was right. I just didn't put the glowstone around it because I completely forgot about it. Okay, it was wrong. <laughs> okay. Mass fabricator. Right, so we are going to make sure we have a lever on us. And um, I think we'll set it up here for now. So let's just destroy that so that's got a place for the lever to go. So what we've got here dark so we are going to have to sleep first so we can actually show or at least test how much power we are losing while it is on uh, if we don't lose too much then that will be perfectly fine but uh, there is a chance that we will not so we got two percent okay so how's our our power is actually going up while this happens so we got our progress is going up the only problem is um, I don't think daylight sensors exist in here no they don't um, the only problem is as soon as it gets to night that's our power pretty much gone. If I forget that this thing is on at night, our power is gone. So what we are going to eventually do is set up, as I spoke about before, a um, a geothermal generator which is set up to um, make infinite or have one of uh, one of these a power flower make or at least a dumbed down version of this um, make infinite uh, lava cells and feed them into multiple generators uh, geothermal generators and give power to this because we are making this but it's not actually reaching a billion is that a billion? I'm not sure but as you can see it's taken it down but it's also taken it up at the same time due to having this uh, wonderful thing here if this was out of the equation we would not have any power actually let's see how that goes so currently it's making stuff power is not worrying about anything as soon as we take this cable out 
Ooh. We're actually... We're actually making power. We are perfectly fine with power creation here. Let's see how much it would take. Is that like being overcharged? Is that sort of the point? Like, if I... Hmm? There's nothing connected. I think it's going to be a point where it just sort of cuts out, but I think we sort of over <laughs> overcharge this, which is uh, quite funny, I think. But yeah, um, we've actually got a mass fabricator that's working perfectly fine, and you, you matter, I'm not sure if I can actually... No, I cannot find a recipe for. Okay, so yeah, you matter just basically allows creation of most uh, useful things. The most useful thing I think we're going to go with for now is just so we can have it is um I can't remember the name, but I'll have to look at it. Um, it is uh, industrial craft armor. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, because you have the nano suit armor and quantum suit armor. The quantum suit armor requires um, iridium, I think. Yeah, iridium plates. Uh, so, for example, to make a a quantum body armor, like just the chest plate, you need 112 UU matter, 6 diamonds, 56 coal, 6 lapis, 32 refined iron, 6 copper, 30 tin, 30 uh, bronze, 12 rubber, and 20 redstone. So, the main big thing of that is the UU matter. Uh, the reason for that is because you need um, iridium plates. And the only reason to get, the only way to get iridium plates, sorry, is um, through UU matter. There is actually no other possible way and it is made so there is no other possible way to do um, do that, to actually make it. And also it has no, um, no, uh, da -da -da, what am I saying, it has no, I just realised how easy it is to or how not easy it is to see whether or not they're moved. We have so many slimes. Yeah, basically, um, it's easy then to see, um, that... No. But, 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 I'm, I'm getting mixed up with my words. Basically, um, the only way to get it is supposed to be through that, and it is, it is sort of end, end game tier stuff. Or highest tier. It is, I think, the only thing that technically can, uh, stop a nuke, like, damaging a full powered version. I think this uh, armor that I've currently got on, which hasn't it isn't actually the highest tier armor, which we could probably do at a different point, uh, after we made the high voltage solar array uh, factory if I can find a tutorial for it, because the um the one I saw on the wiki was just a picture, so that was uh quite annoying. I need to find what the slay all button is. Why is that? Uh let's go on controls. But basically the one I saw on the wiki is just a picture, so it is difficult to uh Extra function. C. Why? I just have it set for this all the time. Right. But yeah, that's basically a really good use of this weapon, at least. Just spam this button while uh, throwing over slimes. But yeah, we'll have to uh, do that at a different time because, you know, we haven't got much of time these days. Okay. I damaged these guys apparently up here. We get a lot of XP. This. We can make an XP farm, that might be useful. But to be honest, just going around generally um, outside with this thing is an XP farm in itself, because, I mean, it's so easy to kill everything with this. Um, that's actually, it, it kind of gets to a bad point with how easy it is to uh, kill stuff with this. But yeah, for this episode, uh, I think we're fine doing what we've done. I'm just checking that there isn't anything in our base. But yeah, um, mass fabrication is working, which is really nice. We've got three so far. It takes seven, I'm pretty sure, to get an, a one, like, iridium. I think it's iridium. Irid yeah, iridium ore. One iridium ore, uh, which I can't obviously look at the uh, thing for. One iridium ore is seven UU matter, and then I think it takes four... four yeah, it's like four, uh, four iridium ore four um, advanced alloy and like a diamond I think to make an iridium plate so uh, it's quite it's not that difficult to make in the sense of like the diamonds and stuff because diamonds but um, in the sake of UU matter it, it's quite annoying to make I need to throw that in there I've got so much slime it's the useful thing about having this place 
but yeah, thanks for watching guys, sorry it is short once again, uh, it may be short actually because I recorded the survival episode thinking it would a bit, be a bit shorter, but it is actually about 22 minutes long, so, so yeah, if it is short I'm sorry for that, if it's not then I've got nothing to worry about, but yeah, I think it's going to be shorter than normal, maybe about 10-15 minutes, because I don't have the time, basically, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you